Hi, so the next topic that we are looking at is recognizing the different type of mouse pointers and their uses. So the moment we click on a particular cell, we see that that particular cell is highlighted. And if you see the mouse pointer currently looks like a doctor plus sign. So this is typically uh, the normal use of a mouse pointer. But in Excel, it assumes special reference and can shape and can change shapes uh, when it is brought to specific locations. Now, um, for the selected cell, if you see the moment the mouse pointer is brought to the right corner of a selected cell, it changes its shape. Just pay attention. This is like a doctor plus sign and the moment we bring it to the corner, it becomes a normal plus sign. And the third mouse pointer, if you see, the moment I navigate to one of the peripheral lines of this cell, it becomes a, a plus sign which has arrows on its sides. So essentially there are three kind of mouse pointers, a normal plus, doctor plus, a normal plus and an arrow plus. Now each one of them has a different use and to illustrate that let us look at an example. So supposedly what we want to do is a 1, a 2, so on and so forth. Right Now uh, in order to reach to 1 and 2 either I could use arrow key or alternatively I could use a doctor plus sign to go select those particular two cells that I have written. With this arrow cells, we can uh, drag these two cells to any location, right? And this normal plus sign is the most important in Excel because it gives Excel uh, direction in terms of what we are wanting to do. So the moment there is this plus and I drag it down, you would see that Excel gets the mandate that what we are trying to do is fill in series. Uh, and this is very interesting in a way that Excel fills in series for you whenever you write a Monday from a doctor plus you get to a normal plus and you drag it down. Excel would know that you are wanting to fill in series. Whenever you are wanting to write a Monday, it would understand that you are wanting to write the complete days of the week. Similarly, January and it will give you the months and if you write the complete January, it would give you the complete name of the months. So typically you can get numbers, you can get week days of the week, you can get months in the year and the next category is that you can also get a justified, uh, a customized list of series. Um, say the kind of series that I have created is, can you imagine Mohan could be dragged down to get something more and this is Ram, Sham, Vishal. Now you might be wondering where did I get this from. So. I go to file, I go to options, I go to advanced and towards the bottom of this list there is this edit custom list or you might want to add more right so supposedly I was to write the name of couple of your products that the company is selling. So saw, X, pruning, machine, tree cutter and I say add. And I say OK, OK and now when we write saw here and we drag and drop this, you would see that we would get up the name of all the products. Now try creating your own customized list.